A brand new investigation, our consumer watchdog, a test of fish at supermarkets and restaurants. You think you're having tuna or snapper for dinner, but we have the latest evidence you could be tricked. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. That first bite of grouper taste fishy? That's because fraud is often what's for dinner. The conservation group Oceana sampled 61 Florida seafood businesses, finding a one in three chance of a bait and switch. Instead of that prime filet of fish, you get another cheaper fish. Red snapper, it's almost always substituted for something else. Almost always substituted for something else. Well over 80% of the time. Mahmoud Shivji has been testing fish for years. It's out and out consumer fraud. The customer's not getting what they pay for. Secondly, there are potential health risks because the substitutes are often contaminated with pollutants. And Florida is just the beginning. Oceana found in Boston, 48% of the fish is mislabeled, and in L.A., 55%. Being listed in Yelp or Zagat doesn't help. We found substitutions in expensive restaurants uh, as well as in lower price restaurants. Now, there are regulations to protect consumers, but there's little oversight. So you may think you're getting snapper when, in fact, you're getting tilapia may think you're getting grouper, but again, you're getting tilapia. In fact, nationally, only 2% of our fish is inspected, and less than 0.001% of the fish is inspected for mislabeling. The National Restaurant Association tells us deliberate fraud is certainly not accepted at any point in the supply chain, no matter what the product. So how can consumers protect themselves? At the Casablanca fish market, Giovanna's Flatus recommends buying whole fish and using common sense. If you pay a very cheap price on the fillet, you're not buying what you're supposed to be getting. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami.